you how to use code snippets for programming movie clip controls. I have a dog and my dog is on the stage. The dog is actually a movie clip. The movie clip has three layers, the tail, the dog, and the tongue. The tail layer is a movie clip and it's behind the body of the dog so you can't see a joint when it moves. The tongue is done in a shape tween to look as natural as possible. We're going to do our programming in scene one. I'll begin by opening the code snippets panel and under actions you'll find stop a movie clip. I'm going to double click on that. That's not actually the movie clip I want to stop. I want to stop the tail. So I'm going to have to double click on the dog, select the tail, and then go to Window, Code Snippets, Stop a Movie Clip. And I actually want to give it a better name of Tail underscore MC. By labeling it as it underscore MC that tells Flash that it's a movie clip. So now when I test this, my tail should not be wagging. The movie clips are working, the tongue is still panting. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to create an invisible button. And I'm going to get rid of my code comments here because I don't really need them. I'm going to drag this off stage for a minute. And I'm going to insert a new symbol. And I'm going to make it a button. I'm going to call it BTN for button head because I'm going to place it over his head. And this I want to be an invisible button. So I'm going to hit function F6 because I'm on a Mac. It would just be F6 on a PC. And the only area that I'm going to draw in will be the hit area. Then I can go back to scene one and I can bring my button over the dog's head and I can resize it. What I want to happen is when somebody mouses over the head, I want the tail to wag. When they mouse off, I want it to stop. So now I'll have to code that. So I'm going to select my button. We're going to go into my code snippets panel. I'll bring that back. Oh, that's the actions panel. Window code snippets. Okay, now this is going to be an event handler. So I'm going to close the actions. I'm going to select my event handler. And I want a mouse over event. And I'm going to give the button head underscore BTN as a name. And then I'm going to take a look at my code. I don't want this trace mouse over. What I want to happen when you mouse over him is I want the tail to start. So I'm going to actually have to write the code for this, which is pretty simple. The first thing I have to do is I actually have to find the tail. So I'm using my pathfinder here. I'm going to expand the dog because I actually want the tail. It's going to tell me to name the dog. That's okay. I'm going to rename him to dog underscore mc. And then it will allow me to select the tail as part of the dog. And all I want to do here is I want it to play. So it's going to be dot play, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Now I can either use my code snippets or I can simply copy this and I can paste it because it's going to be mouse out. And we'll call it mouse out handler. And then we'll have to change it to mouse out handler in the function name as well.
and when we move out, we want the tail to stop. So let's look at the code and what it does. We have two very similar event listeners and functions. An event listener listens for an event to happen. Since the event listener is attached to the button, it's going to listen for the mouse to mouse over or, or roll over the head. That's the event it's looking for with the mouse event. If that happens, it's going to call the mouse over handler, which is your function right here. And then it will have the dog tail play. We've copied that code to make it the event mouse out. I've changed the handler to mouse out handler, which means I also need to change my function name to mouse out handler. And this makes the code stop. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to test my dog. And he should not wag until I mouse over his head. And he should stop wagging at any point that I mouse off. And that's a combination of hand coding with ActionScript and using code snippets to control movie clips.